What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil. Who are you? Hey, guys. Welcome back. I'm Sam. Who do we have today? We have Falling in Reverse. And this is a brand new album. Yes, a new song, new album. And I'm excited to check this out because the other ones that we have done, the videos have been insane. Yeah, the new album is called Popular Monster. And uh, like Sam said, we've done two videos already from Falling in Reverse. Mm -hmm. The last one that we did was Ronald. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then Watch the World Burn was before that. That was the first one that we did. Now we're doing yeah. prequel. Now we've kind of checked out. We went back and watched those videos again, mm -hmm. Watch the World Burn and Ronald, because we caught wind that prequel is a prequel to those. potentially <laughs> those videos. And yeah, it would well, make sense. Yeah. And we noticed that there was similar imagery and obviously ties between the two that we did already. Between, yeah. Those yeah, two videos. So I'm interested to see like how this fits into that whole storyline. Yeah. So, um, if we're wrong about that, sorry, this is, we're just, you know, this is brand new guys. We're just getting some information here. And uh, somebody told us about this video came out. Um, the label actually for Falling in Reverse told us that this came out. So then we got some more info that uh, this may be a prequel yeah. to the storyline that we watched. And we're, we said in that they need to move, make a movie out of this. Yeah. Like, and it was just, it reminded me so much. Like it had almost like a fusion between, I feel like star Wars with also Lord of the Rings with yeah, like superhero, like dark superhero vibes. Yeah. They had had like a Balrog in the last video that we did, which is from Lord of the Rings. There you go. Yeah. So, so that's over my head. Um, yeah. Uh, I made a mistake in that video. I called it minds of, Morath. I meant to say minds of Moria, Moria, Morath, oh, tongue tied. I don't think anybody's going to, be quizzing you on your <laughs> trivia here because i have no idea what you're talking he's like about. was this english <laughs> exactly anyways um falling in reverse like we said brand new album excited to check out this video because the video production that they put in is always mm -hmm. amazing without further ado you ready i'm ready remember to hit that like button guys Crushing some skulls. Dear diary, dear diary, I've been searching for a higher me. I'm in the sky in the pilot seat, trying to stop my mind from spiraling, and that's irony, that's irony. I'm just looking for a resolution. I just want to be a better human, but it's hard when everybody's acting stupid. Pardon me if that came off rude. I just have a bad attitude with the world and not just with you. It's the side effects of abuse. I admit I'm a little strange. I don't think that I'll ever change. I survived the whole life of pain you can say i escaped my fate i'm a cynical egotistical unpredictable hard criminal and i can be a little hypocritical but i'll admit it straight to your face i'm unbreakable irreplaceable undeniably inspirational i lose everything i have available to make me the person i am today interesting spot to pause there but they cross Coming, coming through, through the light, the light. Um, so I just want to pause because so this imagery here this mm -hmm. was from one of the two videos I think it was uh, watch the world burn mm -hmm. we saw this visual of like overlooking the yes. crowd very similar yeah, yeah I think it was watch the world burn and then interesting like I don't know if they did this on purpose but I they have to so it looks like the crown of thorns they're placing on his head here yeah it's like right the same as his tattoo Oh. That he has up here. Yeah. It's like a crown of thorns almost. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't but he al he's always had that. So it's yeah. not just for this video, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. And oh, that's cool mask. All right. So anyway, so those are just a couple of things, things I, I saw. Yeah. Very cool so far. Guy in the pilot seat trying to stop my mind from spiraling. And that's irony. That's irony. I'm just looking for a resolution. I just want to be a better human. But it's hard when everybody's acting stupid. Pardon me if that came off rude. I just have a bad attitude with the world and not just with you. It's the side effects of abuse. I admit I'm a little strange. I don't think that I'll ever change. I survived a whole life of pain. You could say I escaped my fate. I'm a Egotistical, unpredictable, hard criminal And I can be a little hypocritical But I'll admit it straight to your face I'm unbreakable, irreplaceable, undeniably inspirational I use everything I have available to make me the person I am today Dear 
Dear diary, dear diary, I just had another wild dream. I was in a world that admired me, and when I woke up, I was smiling. And that's irony, that's irony. You talk a lot, but you don't even know me. I'm just hoping that my testimony will inspire y'all to stop acting funny. Pardon me if that came off weird. I don't mean to be mean, I swear. I have been through a lot this year. I just wanna make a few things clear. I don't like it when people hate behind my back and not to my face. Nowadays it just feels so fake, so I'll cut the grass to expose the snakes. I'm unstoppable, it's impossible. You don't wanna see the diabolical side of me that never stops is volatile. So I suggest you stay in your lane. I'm unapologetic, you know where it's headed. I will never ever let up off the pedal. I got the spirit of every warrior with me. I'm back the fuck up, get out. And you praise the fascists You kiss the hand that takes half in taxes Faking outrage and being seen A generation with no self-esteem It's time to rise up and stand against them Break the chains and finally see the vision We're post-traumatic from a broken system Follow me into the chaos engine ah, It's time to stand So what are your thoughts so far, Sam? I like it I feel like it's very aggra- like it's, has like, I don't want to say aggressive But it's like a strong vibe to it But I feel like he's almost talking about societal standards and almost like the government like overstepping and almost like you know it's time to kind of stand up and fight back type thing Mm -hmm. Um, that that one part there when he was um delivering uh, you know a message to the people it mm -hmm. looked like yeah yeah and um what uh, music wise um does it remind you of any rappers that we've done on the channel? Tom McDonald. <laughs> Interesting you say Tom McDonald because I was thinking that initially but then as we got further into it I was thinking of NF yeah yeah a little bit of that too like even the production on it yes. sounds almost like nf it does like sound like that a lot but it's mo- almost motivational. i would say it's almost more of the delivery a little bit that yeah. makes me think of tom a little bit yeah. in certain songs like the way he's delivering the cadence. the cadence yeah um but i could totally see the production with nf and it's like almost like dark kind of vibe um, yeah for so sure. you're a big fan of tom mcdonald and mm-hmm. and nf we both like nf as well so i have does that mean you're liking this one so far? I am, I am for sure. And it's crazy because the imagery in this part out here in the, the mm-hmm. town, I guess, is giving me like serious Star Wars vibes. Yeah, it does look like Star Wars. Super Star Wars vibes to yeah. me. So. We're combining all these different all my adventurous elements. Yeah. So you're liking prequel thus far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, we'll keep it going. I'm just hoping that my testimony will inspire y'all to stop acting funny. Pardon me if that came off weird. I don't mean to be mean, I swear. I have been through a lot this year. I just want to make a few things clear. I don't like it when people hate behind my back and not to my face. Nowadays it just feels so fake, so I'll cut the grass to expose the snakes. I'm unstoppable. It's impossible. You don't want to see the diabolical side of me that never stops is volatile, so I suggest you stay in your lane. I'm And you praise the fascists You kiss the hand that takes half in taxes Faking outrage and being seen A generation with no self-esteem It's time to rise up and stand against them Break the chains and finally see the vision We're post-traumatic from a broken system Follow me into the chaos engine ah, It's time to stand, it's time to fight Don't be afraid to twist the knife Your sacrifice to break the curse Prepare to die, prepare to burn Abandon hope, it's not enough Cause all our gods abandon us Your sacrifice to break the curse, fight the match, watch it burn!
Okay, there's a lot to take in here. Is that his little suit? So that we we talked about how we had watched the other two videos right before we got into this one. Yeah, he's wearing that like a fancy suit. Looks like the same suit. You're yeah, saying, almost like right? a superhero kind of suit. Okay, so yeah, so this is it's Maybe called prequel. Anti superhero or the what's the opposite of a superhero like the the villain super villain. Suit. Yeah. So prequel, right? It's called prequel. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is, I think, the beginning, as we said, of those the story here. So he's finding this suit at this point. I think that then takes him into. Uh, watch the world burn I believe would be the next one yeah that would make sense in the storyline I think because I think that the wearing... Ronald is the most like futuristic one yeah which yeah, would yeah, be yeah, the yeah, most yeah. recent yeah. I think so I'm um, trying to recall anyways we'll, we'll go back to those videos in a second um, maybe we should have just done a full sequence <laughs> watching all three of them um, but anyways so I think he's portraying himself as Jesus in this. Well, that made sense because that would make sense because he was, looked like he was almost like being crucified on the cross. Well, yeah, the whole story, right? Yeah. Because he's acting like he's preaching the word, so yes, to speak. to the people. Right, yeah, to the yeah. people there. And then he, he goes into the tomb at the end yeah. as well, right? But Jesus died, mm -hmm. right? And then was resurrected after he was in the tomb, tomb. right? And that's, you know, where yeah. he came uh, through the resurrection process and he had, um, cross, I think earrings. Yeah. Yeah. And we saw the cross of the thing, the shadow when yeah. he pauses. And so, obviously him on the cross. So, so yeah, obviously. Um, so, so many references to Jesus. And then in, that's a going theme of the, the other two videos, right? Well, yeah. Cause then watch the world burn. He's in the church and like yeah. burns it down. Right. So this is what's making me think Cause in Ronald, right? He, that's the one he goes and fights the demon at the end. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He goes almost like goes down and it's like, he has, um, tech nine who's like all in white and then yeah, tech nine the, is there. And he, when he goes down to hell and then he goes down and he fights the demon. Like yeah. The Balrog. Yeah. So, and in, in that one, I remember Tech Nine, it was like you said, came almost like as an angel, so to speak, because he's wearing that white suit, right? Yeah. And then says to him about something about the devil and whatever, and he then he goes about the devil and demons and stuff. And then he goes down. You see him like push Fall down into the little molten lava. Yeah. yeah, and then goes to hell and fights the the demon. So it's almost like the story is a prequel. This is the beginning. We're seeing this this beginning of him becoming who he is, and then makes me think like. Because he talked about, he was obviously cruci crucified by the people that anointed him in the beginning, right? So, and he talked about how he was frustrated almost with the gods mm -hmm. and like the people that betrayed him. Yeah, like they were like not showing up. And then in basically. Watch the World Burn, like even the title, Watch the World Burn, it's like his vengeance in that yeah. one. Yeah, he just Where comes in and like burns everything down. And he down. burns the church, remember the priests and stuff. And I remember being shocked with that one because I mean, like, look what I'm wearing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Got my, my cross on and, you know, faith is a is an yeah. important part of our lives, right? So, I mean, for us, like trying to bring this in, take this in and what his messaging, I guess, is with mm -hmm. the whole process here. Because I don't think he's a religious guy from what I read anyways. Um, it's just interesting, though, because I feel like the messaging that like I got from this was more of him speaking about like overreach with the government and society like to me i didn't really i mean maybe he was talking about that with religion but like i didn't really get that the messaging like the song was talking about religion just no but i think that could be applicable like to jesus's story in some sense yeah and so he's kind of modernizing the story of jesus and almost making him like a dark jesus like a yeah in like well, even with like you world. said, right, like the like the crown, like the crown of thorns, yeah. right? Like again, that's like Jesus imagery. Exactly. Yeah. Same thing. But it's also just interesting to me because in this one that we just did, right, the prequel, like it's interesting to hear the the timeline too because in this one, like we mentioned, the imagery is was very like Star Wars esque, but it almost seemed like older times, right? Like there was no like futuristic aspect to it, whereas in the most recent one, there's like all these crazy robots and all of this stuff, right? So it's like the timeline of events or location. Like, is it, it's, I guess like I'm confused or questions for you guys is like, is this all taking place in the same place? Like, is this like, he's going to like an other worldly kind of sci-fi thing? Cause like obviously in sci-fi, well, do you go to different worlds or different planets or whatever? Well, for like, me, it's almost like he's resurrected into the future, basically. True. Right. That's okay. what happened. Anyways, I want to just play this one more time, this back end of this verse here because I don't I 
Yeah, the last the thing lyrics. I just wanted to say is that also, at which we can when we watched it again, I thought it was cool. Is almost the bat you almost see the battle of the good and the evil with the, the angels, the white and the dark. That's what I mean. To pull them down. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's this push and pull between good and yeah. evil. Yeah, I mean, I think, like I said, like this is this, to me, this is a story of, of Jesus. Heavy is the crown. Why have you forsaken me? Giving, you know, this, you know, dying on the cross for everybody's sins. All of this whole, like the whole idea. That's what, I don't know. That's what I get. Yeah, I could definitely see that for sure. And I really do feel like this whole thing is like a movie series. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Anyway, it's like I said, I'm totally confused though, because I thought Ronnie had nothing to do. And maybe he's maybe taking a jab at religion by doing this. I don't know what yeah. his intentions are, but um, I'm just confused because this is so much Jesus undertone to yeah, this whole especially thing. This, especially this video. And it's like, like you said, almost making a movie in modern times about the resurrection and like, but putting a different spin on it for the purposes of entertainment and creating like this whole series that is Star Wars-esque, Lord of the Rings-esque, you know, uh, Jesus esque, esque <laughs> yeah. combining all these elements. Yeah, for sure. And I would also be interested of like, you know, the in between of them because you'd have this one where it ends where like right there he's essentially going into the tomb and finding the suit. And then in the next one, he's jumping out of a plane or a helicopter or something like into the world already in this suit and then like blowing everything up essentially. And then you have the break and then the next one he's like busting out of a police van mm -hmm. so you know it's like yeah again like the tie in between each one yeah i feel like it's almost well, like a gap or like an open-ended kind of and at the end of uh watch the world burn right like we didn't really see what happened so then he just wakes up in a police van so it's yeah. like almost he like murdered the church yeah and then they put him in the police van and then he broke out of the police van yeah anyways lots of speculation, speculation. <laughs> You guys Let us know your speculation. Yeah, you guys can elaborate down low, um, but we did our best, and I really like this one. Those might, might be my favorite that we've done in terms of the song. Yeah, I like. I really enjoyed this, and you know, I know you had said when we paused it, NF, and it kind of had some influence mm -hmm. there or flavor, and I would agree. After listening back to it back again, I think I just haven't heard NF in so long that yeah. it didn't come to mind at first. Very but. powerful song and video, as usual, with Falling in Reverse. Let us know your thoughts down below. Hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Go check out our other videos if you want. Maybe uh, go watch some of the other Falling in Reverse videos. Come back yeah. and leave us a comment if you figured anything out. And other than that, have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.